Speaker Pelosi. Hi, Speaker. Hi. Oh my gosh, we love. We're the official lesbian crew. This is Renee, and I'm MJ. And you know, you've always showed up for our parades. You've always been there, and I mean, you've always been this beacon of like a human being that gets us and includes us and we just want to say thank you and, you, and you'll always be our speaker thank you well i think right now it is really important for us to use all of what we have learned and done in terms of the fight against hiv aids for of hate crimes legislation marriage equality and the rest reversal don't ask don't tell and focus that on stopping what they're doing to the trans community. It's it's dangerous for young people. That's what we've been saying tonight, too. This isn't our first time that they've been coming for us. So it's kind of a seasoned group of people. We're a family. And um, and I appreciate your advice on how this is taken from what we've done before, right? It's that yeah, right. We, we've had the experience, but also one of the successes we had was to have people know who in their community were LGBTQ, who were HIV infected, who were engaged in marriage equality. And that friend, those friendships took us to a better place. That's what we have to do with the trans issue. Show the love for that community, the pride we take in them. And hopefully this will be a bad chapter that will be over soon. And it, one thing that seems different now, they're not so sneaky about it. They're just saying it out loud, and it's just really out there for all of us to see who you are, and they're, they're letting us see who they are and what they're, who they're trying to attack and all, with all these bills and legislation. Well, just yesterday in the House of Representatives, the extreme, reckless Republican majority passed a bill which won't go anyplace. The president will never sign it. But what, one of the things it did was to say that schools could out kids, even if their home, to their parents, even if their home life was not friendly to them, and it could be very dangerous for them, just as an example. Isn't it true, though, the projection of, like, we're not the ones putting anybody in danger with, with, with what they're doing. They're actually the ones that aren't pro-family and harming children. It's awful. It is. It's, it's a reckless and endangering. And some of these children, especially if it happens to be also trans, will be on the street. And I've seen them, I've met them, I've heard their stories in San Francisco. And that's what they are risking by doing that. And they know it. And they know it. And there's some of the most, shall we say, ostensibly religious people, but they don't treat people as God's children. We've all seen this act before, haven't we, Speaker? Yeah, yeah. What do, what do you think is so scary about drag queens? I mean, come on, it's, it's just a distraction. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's entertainment. It's, I mean, I'm a big fan of RuPaul. I've been on his shows a number of times. And uh, one time when we had a, a big rally at our stadium in San Francisco, I talked about uh, drag queens and this or that, and the headline was, Speaker of the House talks about drag queens in the state. He said, yes. <laughs> right, like it was supposed to be a, like a downplay, but it was like, yes, elevate yeah, no, We take pride. That's our thing. I mean, they always say, oh, they're so tolerant in San Francisco. I said, don't use the word tolerant with me. It's not about tolerance. That's condescending. It's about respect. It's about taking pride. Take pride. I love that. One question. What do you say to the LGBT community right now? Because we're being battered. We're, it's coming from everywhere. You are strong. We saw your documentary. You ripped <laughs> yes. open that, whatever that thing was. I mean, you are a badass. Uh, yeah. We need some encouragement from you. What would you say to us? Well, I would say, look at the success that we have had. Uh, you know, my first words on the floor of the house, 30, almost 36 years ago, were about I'm here to fight HIV AIDS. People said to me, why would you want to be known for that? I said, because that's why I'm here, to fight HIV AIDS. And then because of the community and its outside mobilization, we won, they started having the funding and getting rid of the stigma and all the rest of that. And then that went to passing strong hate crimes legislation, fully inclusive, including trans, 15 years ago, and then repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and then marriage equality. So it's just been a path of success. 
So we learn from that, be encouraged by that, and use that. And what we have to do is show our love for the trans community, and then people will start to change their views. I feel better now just hearing that from you. So do we. Yeah, we all do. Keep, keep it on, Speaker. Keep, keep it on. Yeah. I love you.